hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i am going to show you how i build this infinity cube table so before jumping to the main building section let me tell you some tips which will ease the manufacturing process of this infinity cube table so if you take a closer look over the joints then my joints have a slight fillet instead of sharp corner and that is because this is the joint which i have been using in my entire table definitely not the easiest joint which you can make but but it looks pretty sweet once it's completed although many of you are already aware of this joint but for those who didn't knew much about this i would like to tell you the basic info regarding this joint the fillet radius is always equals or tiny bit less than the width of the pipe in my case the width of the pipe is 40 millimeter and the correct way to calculate the fillet is by subtracting the wall thickness of your pipe from the pipe width in my case the fillet is 38.8 millimeter because my wall thickness is 1.2 millimeter so the way to calculate the top straight line is by dividing the periphery of the circle by 4 and that is because we are using the quarter portion of the circle to make our 90 degree bend and once this thing has been rotated after the cutting we are going to achieve that fillet kind of a joint which looks very beautiful in any kind of a build and you can also see that the length of the line is almost equals to the perimeter of that circle which is 60.9 so to ease my work i made a 3d printed template of uh, that cutout portion which i need to be marked and uh, you can see that how this thing actually look like and i also colored the side so that you will able to identify that which side belongs to which before starting this project i made my own 3d design to understand how this table is going to be constructed and even after doing that it seems to be pretty difficult for me but once it's completed it seems to be a pretty easy work to do and i think it would be a lot more helpful for all of you to understand the building criteria so there are three fundamentals to build a table like that the first one is that you have to start from the shorter length in the table the next one is that if you noticed that I have colored all the sides of the pipe just for the illustration purpose so that you will understand the bending direction or the cut direction of the pipe. In the table all the cuts they are either be made onto red side or they are made onto the yellow one. So the basic criteria is that if the first three cuts have been made onto red side then the next three cuts are going to be made onto the yellow side and from thereafter again repeat onto the red and then yellow and this will continue until the whole table is gonna completed you can also see this thing onto a piece of pipe if i made a, if i made three straight cuts over one side then i have to rotate the pipe and made three cuts repeatedly and for the third bend i again repeat the same three cuts onto the previous one like i have marked in this video third point is the cutting criteria of the lengths when we start from the smaller length the next two length are needed to be kept bigger than small and then again next two are the bigger one and this has to be repeated again and again until the whole table gonna close itself you can also see that cutting criteria onto the screen of how it has to be carried out so that's pretty much all about the building criteria of this table now jump to the building section of the video if you are willing to make your own 3d printer then you can check the description section there is a link
this is the last part and I already provided this joint here and I kept it slightly longer so what I'm going to do now is to cut the first length from here and then going to weld this so that I am able to adjust this length at that side but before that to have an exact measurement I need to weld this side first so that I can weld it properly So before starting the welding work this is the overall setup I have and as you can see that I have installed these spacer blocks because the diagonal distance between the two pipes is almost closer to the 50 millimeter and to hold down these spacer blocks to its place I slightly modified the design of my bar clamps I welded down some angle pieces to the to both upper and lower jaw so that they are able to clamp down the whole assembly together during the welding work. So whenever you are going to use an angle grinder for grinding down your joints I would highly recommend to use a variable speed angle grinder and use the flap disc at a slow rpm. Suppose you did the grinding in one direction and if you have a plenty space to move around your grinder then it would be good to do the next grinding with a with perpendicular to the previous scratch pattern that would get that will give you a much precise and better finish on your surface if you wanted to know more about the grinding you can check my video there is a link down in the description section
so that's pretty much all about this build and i hope you will enjoy this video till then